Welcome to this Rebound YouTube tutorial. My name is Hanno Rein, and today I will show you how to install the Nbody Integrator Package Rebound. So Rebound works either with a Python or a C interface. Python is particularly easy to use. C gives you more direct access to the underlying integrators and other features built into Rebound. I will show you how to install both Python and the C version of Rebound in this tutorial. Let's start with the Python version. Before I go into details about how to install Rebound specifically, let me quickly introduce virtual Python environments to you. These are lightweight virtual environments that can help you manage different Python installation and different packages on your computer. Each virtual Python environment encapsulates a Python binary and also an independent set of Python packages. This is isolated from your system directories, so you can install different versions of Python and different package versions on the same computer without interfering with each other. For example, you could start one project with an older version of Rebound and continue working on this with the old version um, for the duration of that project. At the same time, you can create a new project with a new virtual environment and install the newest version of Rebound in there if you need access to some of the newest features. In short, there's just less chance to mess anything up if you work with virtual Python environments. So let me show you how these work. So we're first going to create a new directory where we will install Rebound. Then we'll go into this directory and we're going to create a virtual environment. We'll do this with the vnf module in Python, and we're going to create a virtual environment with the name vnf. Now, if you look at the directory structure, you'll see a new directory called vnf. Next, we will activate this virtual environment using the command source vnf, then bin, activate. Now we've activated this specific vir virtual environment. We can now continue and install rebound into this virtual environment. This is done by simply using pip install rebound. Rebound is now being downloaded from the Python package index and then compiled. Because, Pyth because rebound is a source package, it will compile it on your computer now we have Python and Rebound installed in this virtual environment. We can run Python and import Rebound just like this. Okay, that was all that's needed to install Rebound. There are a few other options to install Rebound if you have different requirements. For example, if you need access to the latest development branch on Rebound, a feature that hasn't made it into the main branch just yet, you can also use pip to install that specific branch. Just give it the URL of github.com slash hanorein slash rebound.git and then at the end, with the after the at sign, add the specific branch that you would like to install. Another alternative is to download the source code of Rebound manually. You could do that, for example, using git clone. Once you have the source code, you can edit it. You can add features or change things up. And then if you want the Python interface, you just type pip install minus E and then a dot for the current directory to install rebound in the development version. This allows you to modify everything in rebound internally. You need to, you might need to do a pip install again, whenever you change the source code. That's all that's required to install Python, the Python version of Rebound. Let's talk about the C version of Python next. This is the list of requirements that you need to have when installing Rebound. As you can see, the list is very short. All that you need to install the C version of Rebound is a C compiler, specifically a C99 compatible compiler. This can be GCC, CLine, or any Intel compiler. All of these should work. Having no other requirements is one feature of Rebound. Rebound works without any additional libraries or packages just by itself. This is important if you want to be able to run your 
simulations on a wide variety of computer clusters or computer platforms where you don't want to install a whole suite of packages just to run a simple simulation. It also is some future proving in the sense that if some packages are harder to come by in the future, that will not impact your ability to run Revand in the future. Now, there are some additional um, libraries that you can install if you want some additional features. Specifically, the GLFW library, which helps Rebound to interface with OpenGL. This is used for visualizations in the C version of Rebound. I highly encourage you to try out these visualizations. They help a lot with debugging and setting up simulations as they give an immediate visual feedback. Another optimal um, way to, to enhance Rebound is to use a compiler that supports OpenMP. This can be used for shared memory systems for parallelization. This is typically only helpful if you have many particles and it only works with some integrators. We'll discuss this in a future video. So let me show you how you can install Rebound, the C version this time. Um, we'll go to a new directory to install the C version of Rebound. And the first thing you need is you need access to the source code. One way to do that is to use git, git clone, and then the URL to GitHub. That is downloading the full history of Rebound, not just the latest version, but everything that has come before. If you only want the latest version, you can also go to GitHub and download a zip file with all the, um, with all the files in it. Um, so we go into this new directory and you'll see all kinds of uh, files and directories in here. The easiest way to get started with Rebound is to look at some of the examples that come with it. And uh, it has a long list of samples. Go through them. They're also explained in more detail on the documentation. Choose the one that is closest related to the problem that you are trying to work on, and then start modifying it from there on. In this case, we'll just use the simplest possible example, which has the name simplest. There are two files in this directory, one a make file and one a problem.c file. The make file has the instructions for make on how to compile event. Uh, the problem.c file lists the setup, how the simulation is set up, the initial conditions and the outputs and so on. To compile rebound, all you have to do is type make. This will now compile all the rebound files into a shared library. And then once this shared library has been compiled, it will compile your problem.c file and link in the shared library to it. If you look at the directory, there are a few new files here. One is called librebound.so. This is the shared library. And then there's an executable file called rebound. This is the file that contains your problem.c file as well. And this is the one that you can execute. So to run rebound, just type dot slash rebound and it will run. Note that if you try to edit the file, for example, changing the initial conditions of this specific simulation, and then compile the code again, it will only compile your problem.c file. It will not recompile the shared library because you haven't changed it. Were you to change the shared library files, the integrators themselves, the internal structure of Rebound, then Make would automatically recompile those as well. But by only doing a partial compilation of those files that have changed, you can very quickly run a new simulation with modified uh, initial conditions. That is all that's required to run Re Rebound and um, hopefully that should get you started. Now, if you want more information about the installation of Rebound, check out the documentation. This is on Read the Docs. There's a quick start guide that gives you quite a bit of information for different operating systems and also lists some um, special considerations that you need to take into account when installing Rebound on Windows. If you run into trouble with the installation, please post an issue on the GitHub repository and myself or others are most likely very happy to help you with any installation problems. That's it for today. Thank you for listening to this tutorial and I hope to see you in the future.